Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a huge beauty haul, which includes a lot of the items I picked up in the past couple of weeks, which includes the stuff I purchased from the VIB sale at Sephora like over a month ago because a lot of the items didn't arrive until a week ago and the week before last week, believe it or not. There were a lot of delays. I had three different orders and they all came eight different times. I don't know what was going on there, but obviously due to the situation right now, there are expected delays, but I didn't expect it to be a couple of weeks delayed, but I'm still happy that I got my items and I am excited to share them with you all. And I also picked up some items from Dior.com and Chanel.com, so I'll show those to you as well. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, then keep on watching. Since I didn't purchase that many items from Dior and Chanel, I thought I should go ahead and start with those brands. The first one being Chanel and any kind of order you make at Chanel, no matter how small, these are only two items, they will come in this beautiful gift box like this. It's so pretty. Obviously I tried to repackage this because when I received it, I wanted to see if I got the right items, but this is as pretty as I could make it for you guys again but it comes with like a little sticker. So I was on a little bit of a foundation kick and I wanted to pick up a heavier foundation and then a really light one for every day. And this is basically the lighter one I chose. So they come in like this. So I picked up two items, like I said, and it comes with all of this show. <laughs> if you spend, I think over a hundred dollars, you get a little, Kind of goodie bag that has samples and then the two items i picked up first is the very famous vita lumiere aqua foundation it's a very light water-based foundation and i've wanted to try this for so long but every time i want to go ahead and purchase it i'm like mm, i don't really need it it's a little too expensive but it's may it's my birthday month so i was feeling a little spendy so i picked it up and I always want to do this because every single video I see this in, they always have to shake it because it is water-based. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm in the color 30 beige, at least I assume, because I couldn't try it out in person. So I have yet to try this out and hopefully it's the right color. Then I just had to purchase a Chanel brush, which is the brush that is meant for their foundations. So I picked up the, what is it called? Two in one foundation brush. And I think the number is supposed to be 101, something like that. But it is the simplest looking brush. But every time I see someone use it, it just looks amazing. Like the application looks amazing. So I thought I need to try it. So it comes like this with a little Chanel kind of cover. I don't know if you can see that. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know, but yeah, it has that like Chanel thing right there. And it's kind of like a flat top kabuki. And it's very kind of dense. Oh, that's really soft. Oh my God. I'm so excited to use it. It is called, yeah, number 101. I feel so like old school <laughs> I'm a YouTuber right now doing this. But yeah, so that's that and then i picked up two items from dior unfortunately they didn't come in a pretty packaging like the chanel did but i got these two items which i'm really excited about because i have been looking for this foundation shade for the last six months i am not making this up it has been sold out everywhere in person online everywhere and finally it came back in stock and I bought it right away. And this is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation, which I found is my favorite type of coverage and finish in foundations. And I am in the color, which is apparently very popular because it was gone for so long. I am in Too Warm Olive. So it's the 2WO. And it looks like this. This is meant for your like body too, if you like you wanted to put it on your legs and all that. But 
I mainly use this for my face and I love the finish of this. This has been my favorite foundation for the past two years and it continues to be unless I really love that Vitalier Aqua I just purchased. But yes, I love this. It is so lightweight and it is kind of like a natural kind of oh, silky look when you wear it. I just love it and it comes in this cute little bottle. And then I just felt like buying a foundation brush with it and this is the Dior Light Coverage Fluid Foundation Brush in the number 11. The only reason why I never use brushes for a foundation is because Anytime I use a brush to put on foundation, it's always streaky, like you can see the lines as you apply it. Um, but apparently these two don't do that and I've seen kind of like demos on them. So I'm really excited that I got this. So it just looks like this, it says Dior on it and it says number 11 and those are the bristles and I'm excited to start using this as well. I know this one I love already, but the moment I put face makeup again, which I don't know when because I don't wear makeup anymore during quarantine, um, I'm definitely gonna try out the Vital Amir Aqua with that new brush and then this for concealer. So I shall update you on that. Now on to my Sephora purchases. I'm trying not to show my address, um, but this is one of the seven boxes all of my items came in. Some of them, they came in in twos, in threes, and there was one that came in by itself. And what I think is a lot of the items like sold out and then they had to figure out a way where they can find the item and then when they finally did, they're like, ship it all on its own. So it is what it is. The first item since it's at the top is just some Sushado face cotton. I didn't understand the hype in these until I finally just bought them and now I don't think I can live without them. I use them to remove my face makeup, my eye makeup, and to also put any kind of toner. I love these, so I just had to get another one. I picked up this item, not for myself, but it's actually one of Ahmed, my boyfriend's birthday gifts for this year. And this is a Jo Malone perfume. And this is also a gift to myself because I love this scent. Oh my goodness. I have kind of like the feminine version of it, which is this one right here. It's the Jo Malone Velvet Rose and Oud, and this is the Jo Malone Oud and Bergamot. So that one has a rosy like hint to it, so it's a little bit more kind of um, feminine, while this one is just like straight up Oud and Bergamot. Oh my God, and I love it. Oh my God, it just smells like a man. I also did actually pick this up for Ahmed. This is the Bleu de Chanel. I don't know why I decided to say it like that, but that's kind of how you're supposed to say it. But I obviously don't have the right credentials to start speaking French right now. But it is the deodorant version of the ever so famous blue perfume. And it looks like this has definitely been used because his birthday was three days ago. <laughs> okay, should I show this? It's, oh, why are men so messy? I was gonna show it to you, but it's kind of nasty. Where do I start? Um, this one, very popular product. It is actually the item that came in on its own in its own box. And it is the Ordinary AHA 30% BHA Peeling Solution. It is the 10 minute exfoliating facial. It's a very popular product. I'm kind of terrified to use it because I don't really do much with any kind of peeling products, if that makes any sense. But I have so much kind of scarring from breakouts I get in like my chin area, everywhere area. So I thought I should try something like this. So I picked it up. I picked up a bunch of concealers. I think I just accepted the fact that I have a lot of scarring in my face right now and I just really wanna work on getting rid of them with some skincare that I picked up. But during that process, I need to conceal them a lot more effectively. So I got not one, not two, but four different concealer type 
products and the first one is the forever skin correct by dior this is a new or relatively new concealer from dior that they came out with and it has that big doe foot applicator so it gives you a chance to use it as like an all over kind of coverage concealer um you can go ahead and dilute it with your um, moisturizer which is what i did today so i have used this today already just to try it out and I really, really like it. I did get it in the shade that I also got the foundation um, from in Dior.com. I got 2WO and it's the perfect match. It's the perfect kind of finish for me. And I already know I'm gonna really like this. This is perfect for the days when I don't wanna do like an all over foundation type of day um, and just put this in like the main points where I want to conceal like the under eyes and then highlight to the nose here where I get redness and all that good stuff so I already like this then for more concealing I wanted to try the very famous NARS soft matte complete concealer and this is literally a matte version of what they're famous for which is the um, radiant concealer the creamy radiant concealer and so I got it in that same shade that I also have in that which is in medium one custard and it comes in this little pot this is also one I used today and I really really like it I tried to go ahead and conceal this newest pimple I have and here too and I'm liking it this one I tried to use today and it was a total fail. It is definitely not my shade. I heard a lot of great things about the Pat McGrath, McGrath, McGrath Labs <laughs> Skin Fetish Concealer. Unfortunately, it's just the wrong shade. I got it in LM9 and it's way, way, way too light for me. Like it's not, it's not my color at all. I can't even make it work or blend it out. It's just too bright. Um, but the finish I really like, like I also tried it out on like my skin up here and it's an amazing finish. I just need to get the right shade. So I think I'm going to like it. It's just, I don't have the right shade at the moment. Last but not the least for concealing, which is not really concealing. This is more for like highlighting is the Too Claw by YSL. Also a very famous product. I have tried this today as well. And what I learned is it's not really a concealer. Um, I have bought this a couple of times when I was like younger starting YouTube and I hated it because I didn't know how to use it. I just knew that it wasn't a concealer. It was a weird consistency. And I remember I would always get like a pinkish color, which is not the right color for me. And now that I have the right shade, which is, which I'm pretty proud that I got a lot of the shades right, except for the Pat McGrath. Um, this is in Luminous Vanilla 2.5 and it's in this beautiful packaging. Like I said, I've tried it out and I basically used it where I want to highlight some areas in my face. So like a little bit here, down my nose and then up here and then my brow area and then down here and I love it. I really like it. Unfortunately, you can't see it with this lighting, but I have to say I'm excited that I finally got the right shade and I can keep using it. What else did we get? Um, tattoo liner, kind of boring. I use this every single day. It's the another famous product um, by Kat Von D. Don't need to show you that. My favorite, never ever looked back after I realized how much I love that. This one's cute. I'm wearing this right now. This is one of the Kajal I think that's how you say that. Kajal Air Heart Lipsticks. And oh my goodness. I want to buy all of the shades of these. First of all, look at this cute packaging. It's a heart. Look at that. Can you see that? My goodness. I love and kind of hate this camera because of this. Hello. Look at that. And then when you open it, the applicator is also a heart. Oh my goodness. And this color and the consistency of this lipstick is my new favorite. It's like a matte finish, but like it feels so silky, hydrating and velvety on your lips. I love it. It's literally like a liquid lipstick, but in a stick form. And I love that stuff. So 
definitely a new fave. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the skincare. So the first thing I thought I should show you first because I already started using it and I lost the box. When this arrived last week, I was literally one more like dip like left into the one that I was using. So I definitely had to crack this open. And this is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. This has quickly become my favorite moisturizer the past six months. It's so rich and creamy and it smells amazing. Oh my goodness. I love this. I look for this when I'm out of it, so. Glad to have a new tube of that. Another fresh product that I've been loving in my skincare is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And so I just picked up a new one of that. I love this just like the other um, fresh product I picked up. It smells amazing and you can really tell that everything is all clean when you use this. And I've definitely seen a difference in my skin the last like six months. I've been using both of these consecutively. My skin just looks very hydrated and very plump. I really don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but it's the first time I've really seen my skin kind of look like it's breathing, if that makes any sense. A brand I've always wanted to get into is Summer Fridays. I love Mary. Mariana Hewitt, who is the co-founder of this brand. She's one of my favorite bloggers and favorite YouTubers, and I've always heard great things about her um, brand, but I don't know why I never kind of got into it until now, of course. And I picked up her very famous jet lag mask. It comes in a very cute tube like this. I've yet to try this out, and I'm really excited to see what the hype is all about. One I am really excited to try is their new CC Me Serum. And this just came out, I think, a couple of months ago, if not just last month during the sale. And I really love this because of the packaging. I really want to get into serums and definitely CC serums because they brighten up your face and that's really what I need with all the redness, discoloration, and scarring I have from past breakouts. So I am hopeful for this item. I don't know if you can see it because of this dang thing, but there it is. I love the packaging. It definitely reminds me of summer. I picked up another one of my unseen sunscreen. This is my everyday sunscreen and I was already out of the one I had. And so I just needed a new one and I realized they changed the packaging. It's shiny, but yes. So this is the sunscreen that is known for it to be undetectable. So it doesn't have that white cast. It really feels like the um, Smashbox uh, primer, like almost silicone-y feeling, but not in a bad way. Um, I also feel like this is great under the makeup because it does have kind of like that primer texture. And so I love this just every day as well as under makeup. So I would recommend that as well. It has, it has SPF of 40, which is good. This one is a new product to me. And once again, it's another product that I'm kind of worried about using because it's out of my usual type of routine. This is a toner. The bottle looks like this, and this is really just supposed to help with any dark spots you have. I really have to do more research in this. I don't know if you're supposed to put it all over your face or just the areas you want to get rid of the dark spots on, but yeah, it has AHAs just like the CC cream, um, which I think is for brightening, but I'm excited to use this because I really want to see how much of a difference this will make in my dark spots because my dark spots have just been annoying me every time I get them. Like it takes almost a year before they actually disappear and that's why it really upsets me when I get a breakout because I know it's gonna turn into a dark spot for like the whole year. So hopefully this helps. Okay, we're getting down to just some samples here. So. I picked up three of the 100 point perks 
Um, one of them I really wanted to try in kind of like the same realm as me trying to get at my dark spots. Um, I want to start exfoliating, which is another thing I'm afraid of, but I've heard great things about the Kate Summerville exfoliate, so I thought I couldn't go wrong if I tried this out. I just got a small one, so I don't have to really commit to it but I picked that up. I picked up a little Eau de Parfum by Nest. I picked up the Sunkissed Hibiscus, and I honestly wanted to pick this up because I knew it was gonna be in this like cute rollerball packaging. Oh, oh my God, this smells like, okay. I like it, but it kind of smells a little bit like a glorified, fancier version of a Victoria's Secret body splash because it took me back to like seventh grade real quick. And last but not the least is just a cute version of one of my favorite cleansing balms, which is the Pharmacy Green Clean. Um, I don't know where I'm going right now or traveling, but I thought I should just have this handy in case I do go somewhere and I just need a baby one. I think that is it. <laughs> That was a long video and a lot of talking. Um, and I'm sorry if I seemed like I was talking so fast, but I just really wanted to get through this. I'm also very hungry and in need of another iced coffee. So that's what I'm gonna do after this and after cleaning this up. Um, but yes, that concludes my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat so we can keep in touch and make sure that notification bell is on so you're always notified when I post a new video. Once again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.